So here's a quick how-to video on making cable ends for Ethernet cable. I've got a short piece here I'm going to use for the demo. Basically what you'll need is a pair of wire snippers, uh, Ethernet cable end installation tool. This one I got from Home Depot. It's made by Klein and it is part number VDV226-011. Uh, you can find it in their Ethernet uh, section. In Home Depot and this is just a wire stripper um, specifically for Ethernet cable so you don't have to have that but it makes it quicker and then Ethernet cable ends this is cat 6 RJ45 uh, cable end connectors so basically what we're gonna do is strip this end down here and I like to give myself about an inch. There we go. So you strip it down and you have all these uh, stranded pairs here. Okay, I've got all these separated now. I've got orange, white, orange. The order is going to go in as orange, white, orange, and then we're going to grab the green, white. It's going to go next. orange, white, orange, green, white, then blue, then blue, white, and then green, and then the brown, white, and the brown. So once you get them in that order, so you got orange, white, orange, green, white, blue, blue, white, green, brown, white, brown. Once you get them in that order, then kind of the easiest way to get all these lined up so that you can actually do it is to twist like this. Twist, wiggle back and forth this way. Then they lay pretty close together. There. So once you have them like that, lean nice and flat so that they'll fit in the connector. Then you can take your wire snips and snip them off nice and straight. That way it will fit into the connector uh, nice and flat and then you can crimp it. Okay, if you look at these, notice at the end right here, they've got a little straight area and then it angles down right here. In the container we have these little plastic pieces that basically serve to align this wire. So orange, white, orange, green, white, blue, blue, white, green, brown, white, brown. Okay, we got it good. Slide this on. All these little wires should fit right in nice. There we go. Now, see they're all lined up now, they're all in place. Now, see orange, orange, green, 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 brown, green, brown, okay, cool. Now this the orange will be on this side if you have the, the tab on the top this will slide in nicely and you'll notice that the little angle on this plastic piece here fits right in nicely there so then once you have this in place this tool this one I'm doing 8 pin here it has an 8 pin and a 6 pin so I'm gonna flip this over slide it into the tool Maybe. There we go. And then once it's in, it just crimps. These tools aren't terribly cheap. I don't remember what it was 40, 60 bucks, something like that. Um, but if you do much work around your house, if you want to change and make your own cables, um, do net work on your own network, then they're very much worth it. I've used mine a significant amount. So that's how you put an Ethernet cable connector end on. Um, I'm going to do the other end, but yeah, that pretty much covers it, so hope that answered any questions you had. Um, I like to plug them in and double check to make sure they work before I install them in the wall or where if I'm doing that. I'll connect it into the router and then plug it into my laptop just to make sure that I actually have a good connection because sometimes 
uh, these pins won't quite make the right connection or something that it just won't go right uh, and if you don't test it then you won't know so these things I forget how much the the container of these is but I found a bolt pack is good because occasionally you do get those bad ones so anyway hope that helped